today. Thank um, you. So what inspired you to become Attorney General in the first place? You know, I've, I've always appreciated public service. I grew up, my dad served uh, in a public role in my little town. We had about 10,000 people in our town. So it was just part of, uh, um, you know, part of what you do to give back to a community. This opportunity came along and uh, I took a shot at it in 2010. It worked out. How would you define the rule of law so that teenagers can understand it? Well, you got to have rules. If you don't have rules, you have anarchy, and that's true whether you're talking about uh, playground rules or whether you're talking about a system of international law or anything in between. And so you have to have rules. That's how humans interact. Um, you know, rules have to be legitimate, which means they come from a source that's agreed upon and trusted. So obviously, in, in our case, we're talking about they're enacted in a democratic process or interpreted by a court. Um, the rule of law is simply a set of rules that people generally agree are legitimate and everybody's going to live by. What, are, uh, what is a challenging case that, or a situation you had and how did you navigate that challenge? Hmm. You know, uh, every, day is, uh, every day is something that was challenged. One of the things I've loved about it. Uh, we've gotten to argue eight cases now at the U.S. Supreme Court on my watch and uh, we've won them all so I'm going to quibble on my head and let somebody else take over. Uh, you know, some of those have been very challenging. A couple of them were homicide cases. Uh, we argued uh, Employment immigration case, uh, we argued an interstate water case, we argued an antitrust case, and so uh, those have really been, you know, a great joy. And how do you overcome it? You just knuckle down and do your work. So, eight and no so far. Eight and no, that's right, we're going to keep it that way. <laughs> and uh, how can youth stay safe on social media and the internet today? You know, uh, we have two girls, my wife and I. And uh, I always thought the right rule was just don't give them a cell phone until they were, uh, as I kid them, you know, approaching social security age. Um, but we had very different ideas on, on that. And so our girls, like so many of their friends, wound up on social media at an age younger than I would have preferred. Uh, so we got to deal with that as a parent as well as having dealt with it, uh, obviously, as a law enforcement official. I think uh, one of the challenges right now, we'll look back on this period and think, uh, I can't believe that things were so uh, wild west in the social media space, but right now that's the space we're in. And so it really does all boil down to a parent, guardian, or trusted adult keeping close eye on what kids are doing. Uh, it's not a simple task, it's not a pleasant task often, but there's no good substitute for it right now. Well, thank you so much for this. Thank you. Thank